will see the series characteristics, how series characteristics are drawn. First of all, uh, of, about the open circuit characteristics. This is a very important point that open circuit characteristics of a series type of DC generator cannot be obtained because of the reason that series generator are never uh, operated on open circuit. We will see this thing in the series motors that why the series type of uh, generator as well as series motors are not um, why uh, these are not operated uh, on no load. So this is a no load test actually so open circuit time 6 open circuit means as external circuit is open circuited so we cannot obtain the uh, open circuit characteristics uh, we'll see that coming to the uh, internal and external characteristics means external characteristics are drawn on VTIL and uh, internal characteristics on EG and IV we'll see that when I talk about VTIL, it means I am talking about the external characteristics. So, always external characteristics of a DC generator, DC series generator, is like this, and the internal characteristics is like this, and the drop in between is called as the IK. RA drop, uh, which is a very important drop. Again, this is my external characteristics, and this is my internal characteristics. And between that, the drop between that, this is called a IA RA drop. Because of this characteristics, internal and external characteristics, these are used in used as boosters. When series generator are used as boosters, so and the internal characteristics are between. E, G and I, A. So, because of this characteristic, external characteristic, PPI, it is used as boosters in uh, transmission lines, DC transmission lines. It boosts up the voltage, as I, you can see that when the current is increasing, the voltage is also increasing at that point. So, they are used as boosters in DC, HPTC lines. Coming to the characteristics of shunt open circuit characteristics is between E and IF E and IF open circuit characteristics is like this again like the separately accepted generators since the uh, drop here is a slightly different from here at the top level and this is called the IARA line again this is IARA drop so sorry this is called the uh, critical field resistance drop This is called a critical field resistance of line. What is that? We'll see. <coughs> now coming to the external characteristics. Mm. 
we will discuss the external characteristics between BT and IL. In BT IL, the external characteristics are like this for my uh, what I should say shunt generators. These all the things are question generators. This one also, this one also. I'll have the internal characteristics as like this. This red line is the internal characteristics. This blue line is like for external characteristics. And uh, normal shunt generators are parallel together when uh, there is a need of uh, paralleling of DC generators then uh, the more the drop of the generator more the load shared by it and one more application of this is that they are used in battery charging I am giving the uh, applications of these generator with the characteristics because of the reason that on uh, base of these characteristics only their applications are decided um, when we can see that when the current is uh, when the voltage is high when the voltage is high the current is also high when the voltage is becoming low, the current is also becoming low. So uh, it is actually desirable when, uh, when we are charging a battery, what happens? When at the starting, we need to have the higher current and higher voltage when the battery starts charging up. And at the time when the battery is almost charged, we need to have lower voltages as well as lower current at that time. So this is this characteristics is very much important when we talk about the charging of the battery. <coughs> now coming to another part which is called a compound type of generators. Compound type of DC generators. In this type we have the internal uh, external characteristics only that is in between BT and IL. This is very important question and uh, this is very important graph also. We should learn this all the graph actually, but this graph is also important in regards to objective type of questions also. So when I talk about the external characteristics, there are different types of different type of compound generators. I'll have all those on the single uh, graph only, so that one can have an idea uh, what type of generator is where. So starting from here, this is for open. This line, first line is for over compound generators. Since over compound, as I already said, that they are over compound, is over compound because of the reason that uh, there are slight uh, bigger turns, slight more turns in the series winding, so that there is a compensation of uh, uh, IARA drop also so that Vt is equal to Eg. Then comes the level compound. Level compound means uh, Vt is almost equivalent to the Eg. So it is leveling actually. So it is called the level compound. Then comes the under compound. 
under compartments there is a some slight difference between the uh, generated EG and uh, terminal voltage VT. So the graph is slightly coming down. This is called the uh, under compound generator graph. And then comes the shunt generator. Shunt generator. Because this shunt generator uh, I'm showing here, because of the reason that shunt is also important with respect to compound generator, then the shunt generator will come. And this last graph is called differential compound. Differential compound. So coming back to cumulated compound and differential compound, these are type of cumulated compound. So cumulated compound of generators have a very good uh, uh, application in uh, lighting of the home dimmers actually. So, uh, cumulated from home CC are normally using dimmers in household applications where we have, where one, one might have seen uh, in the uh, lighting purpose where we need to have uh, lower lighting, then these dimmers will be there. So this dimmers are a cumulative compound type of DC generator are used in dimmers as well as differential compounds as we can see that there is a very high, uh, there is the curve is very uh, steepy here. So this is a only one application is there of differential compound, normally differential compound generators are not made. But when there is a particular application which is called as arc field welding. <coughs> Where we need to have a very low short circuiting current so that the, our, our generator will not be, uh, uh, is not out of the uh, generator should not go faulty actually. So uh, at that time the uh, voltage is very low and current is very low. So that is used in DC arc welding. And this is a very important point regarding DC arc welding is used uh, is done by differential compound type of uh, compound generators. This is also important. This is also important that cumulative compound is used in diverse and differential compound is used in DC are uh, welding. We should remember this thing. Now coming back to in the same uh, this whole thing that since I talked about the separately excited also, then the separately excited will be like somewhat more than the shen here. Separately excited generators, external characters would be between under compound and shunt. It will be more than the shunt, but it will be lesser than the under compound generators. <coughs> it has, uh, it is like between separate uh, shunt because it is actually more than the shunt because that uh, since the IF is controlled by external source and it is completely uh, you know, uh, constant. So uh, the external characteristics are better than the shunt and its voltage regulation is slightly better than the shunt. But you can see the voltage regulation here also that differential compounds voltage regulation is very poor. Your shunt is having better when separately than under than lower than poor compound. And it is overcompensated for IERA loss which we have discussed earlier. <coughs> 